Sang my first show tune when I was just three. My mother knew why go far. I've been a show queen since way before Glee. Now I'm a Broadway star. Well, not exactly, but my friend has a friend who knows Adina Menzel. Well, you know, I mean, sort of. So things are happening, you'll see. But till my ship comes in, I've got a lot to tell you. Let's start chewing the scenery with you. Welcome to chewing the scenery with me. Turn off your cell phones. Welcome to this edition of CTS News. I'm Randy Rainbow. Let's get right to sports. Touchdown for Adina Menzel, the Broadway legend who prepares to end her run in If Then this March, will sing the national anthem at this year's Super Bowl, which I understand is like the Tony Awards for idiots. In related news, pop superstar Katy Perry will perform during this year's halftime show. In between Adina Menzel's and Katy Perry's highly anticipated performances, some guys will play football or something, whatever, who cares. Could Groundhog Day the musical be headed to London's Old Vic Theatre? Very possible. According to the Daily Mail, the stage adaptation of the 1993 cult classic film with a score by the composer of Matilda is aiming for a second workshop this March. If all goes well, the show will open officially in 2016. Fingers crossed. And in related news, could Groundhog Day the musical be headed to London's Old Vic Theatre? Very possible. According to the Daily Mail, the stage adaptation of the 1993 cult classic film with a score by the composer of Matilda is aiming for a second workshop this March. If all goes well, the show will open officially in 2016. Fingers crossed. It's a healthy, perfect, lovely little girl. One of Broadway's favorite power couples, Stephanie J. Block and Sebastian Arcelis, recently took to Twitter to announce the birth of their very first child, a beautiful baby girl named Elphaba. Just kidding, that'd be weird. Congratulations to the happy couple. I just hope the new baby won't take all the attention away from me. <laughs> no, really. Well, it looks like Greece is the word for Julianne Huff and star of the upcoming Broadway production of Gigi, Vanessa Hudgens. The two will star as Sandy and Rizzo, respectively, in Fox's recently reported live telecast of Grease. The live musical event, originally scheduled for this year, will now hit the small screen in January of 2016, hopefully giving them enough time to cancel it. And in related news, I thought Vanessa Hudgens was starring in the upcoming Broadway production of Gigi. No? Gigi? Really? Okay. Um, and speaking of Bradley Cooper without his shirt on, well, we weren't, but you know you were probably thinking about it. The acclaimed Broadway revival of The Elephant Man has announced it will transfer to London this May. The entire U.S. cast, including the American Sniper Oscar nominee, will cross the pond to play a limited engagement through August 8th. And now let's get a check on this wintry weather with Randy. Randy? It's hot. Well, actually, it's, um, it's, it's snowing outside. Um, New York is bracing itself for potentially one of the worst blizzards in history. Any update on that? No. Thanks, Randy. And that's all for this edition of CTS News. I'm Randy Rainbow. Good night. Blackout.